Today is another day of me in front of the computer screen doing my hair. Um, t especially because, um, especially because my mom arranged for someone to come to the house and fix, of uh, or take a look at the refrigerator between the hours of noon and four, it now being two o'clock. I have to wait here, so I figured I'm gonna do my hair. I'm not doing as big braids as I did before. I'm doing small braids, but it's something to try and make me pass the time before I go freaking bonkers. Uh, luckily, I've got swag bucks and these fine little things where I get to watch videos based off of different things. Right now I moved to, what is this? Of, uh, was it Fund? I don't remember. Um, different series that are promoted and I get points to watch it. It's a lot of them is on AOL. This is called The Future Starts Here. Okay. Um, I'll see something interesting and new hopefully. I was in my room trying to figure out, oh my gosh, something smells so delicious. Um, I was just like, why does something smell so delicious? Am I smelling things through walls that are delicious? Because I was like, I'm not cooking anything. I'm not cooking anything. Oh crap. And then I remembered that. <laughs> I had garlic toast in the oven on broil, on low broil, but you know, an excess of like anything on broil for t more than 10 minutes, you're definitely gonna have a problem. If there was any other option. Well, um, as of right now, I'm finally leaving the house. It's just almost six o'clock which is funny because i'm just like it feels so late weird daylight savings time um i have no idea if i'm even gonna come out in this so now i don't know what i'm gonna do i'll probably just do something really easy spend my money yay because lord knows i don't spend enough money um but i'm tired of being inside the house so i don't know what else i'm gonna do like anything that would involve spending less money than I might end up spending right now is probably closed. Um, so there's that. So I made my first foray into um, the very new East End Market in um, kind of the Audubon Park District. First thing I come in and I smell like a combination of cheese and meat, which is delicious and I don't know what to do. It's so pretty in here. It reminds me of kind of this little market in Chelsea, New York that I've been to once before. It's all indoors, all sorts of fun stuff to find. And the better part is, I think it was converted from an old school? I can't remember, but it's all a lot of local items. So I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I wanna get something delicious because I'm also craving sugar right now. That's the biggest thing. Oh, wow. Furniture. Nice. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll figure out what, um, what I'm going to do really quickly. No matter what, I'm still craving food a little bit, but sugar will suffice me definitely. So nothing sweet yet, but I did grab some Orzo Pop salad from this nice lady over at Houndstooth. She might wave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I know I shock people, it's like, what are they doing? Um, it's delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared I might eat it all. I kind of want to take some home now. Um, but now I get to wander the other direction and I always freak people out by the fact that I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but there, this is my next possible thing. All the sugar. Sugar. And this is, I don't know. It's called... Pato in casa, but it's supposed to be more Italian sounding, so I have no idea. But look at it. Cookies. 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 You know, cookie monsters could be happy here. I don't know how well this is going to show. Outside. Okay, I'm going to try this again, see how it works or not. Outside, they have a little cart yard. Nice palm tree sitting right there. They have a lot of little tables. Um, can't see it around the tree. <laughs> a lot of little tables and umbrellas, a little gravel area for people to sit down and enjoy. It looks like they also have someone is growing vegetables, plants, or, or stuff. 
kind of for sale. There's like a little $5 sign over here. So you can go ahead buy some plants. It's Porch Therapy, G uh, it says GGMT. Choose plant, take inside. So, ooh, peppers. So you can buy your own little pepper plant. That's cool. Um, it's really nice out here. Like, actually, you, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's dark. I'll have to come back here during the day one day. Uh, they have these little wood chairs that someone made out here. Also out front. Let's see if we can go out front. Like, if you were to drive past it, um, um, drive past it to the front. I didn't come through the front way. I came in through the side. Um, in the front, oh, they have benches. And they're basically, there's a garden right out front as you, if you were to walk up from the street. Filled with, I think, edibles, probably. I see lettuce. Well, it says something lettuce all up front here. And they have like a nice little garden wall. So definitely for some people, it's really locally sourced stuff back here. Um, and they have a sign including all the stuff that's already out here. Lineage, coffee roastings, sky bird, which it, I saw that it's got a lot of fresh um, vegetable juices and stuff. Fatso in Casa, which I might grab something sweet from. Houndstooth, already eating their stuff. Old Hearth Bread Company, I've had bread from them before. It's kind of fun now to know that there's a place I can come to almost like every day of the week and now get their stuff. And on this side, it also lists some other stuff. Old Ink Desi Design Discover, which is where I saw those, um, those things inside that were for sale. Uh, seafood and Spanish Provisions, I saw them. Porch Therapy, 99 Market. Oh, those are the plants. Those are the plants. I thought it was two Gs. It's 99. La Fromage, La, La Femme du Fromage, and Local Roots. Um, I'll Florida all year. I, I don't know. That might be all this stuff outside. It's pretty neat in there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, I gotta do like a better video on this. I'll be better prepared next time. Nice little community board. Upcoming events. Fall Fest harvest I can't I can't read dinner <laughs> on next Saturday yeah. oh actually it's after I work I was gonna say I won't make it <laughs> which one uh, the fall fest di uh, dinner okay. I usually work I end work at 7 7 30 I realize it's actually within a time frame that I can possibly make it <laughs> yeah, um, all of our events are online on our events and classes page so oh, okay. you can check out stuff there good to know yeah as I run into someone who knows things. <laughs> she knows things. She might be mad that she's on camera, but. <laughs> Are you taking a tour? Oh yeah, I always, awesome. I try to take tours with my camera. I'm gonna do a better tour later. Awesome. <laughs> or do you have a vlog or? Uh, vlog online and write a little things here and there. <laughs> so. Awesome. Uh huh. Hope you enjoyed East End. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> See, she knows everything. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out who she is later or who. <laughs> Who are you? You're a lovely person. <laughs> I'm Heather Grove. I am the community director at East End. So, I'm the person you ask if you have questions. <laughs> See? I wander in randomly around. I swear I didn't plan this. <laughs> it's like, and, you, and people who know everything just show up out of nowhere. <laughs> you just hang out at the community boards. You find the right people. All right. <laughs> so, the, she knows about all the local events. Cheese and wine pairing with Max. McCallman. Is that? I feel like that was sold out already. No, nope, not sold okay. out. Actually, um, tickets go up to fifty dollars. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, so ah. you want to get you have to you have to start before, going on. Uh, 7 a.m. tomorrow. Ooh, before seven a.m. tomorrow, cheaper. Yeah. It's like maybe I'll post this late enough at night <laughs> that it's like maybe someone will figure out to post the, buy their tickets. <laughs> it's like yep. then Wellness Wednesday, which I might be able to make next week. <laughs> There and you go. all these fun things. The things you need to know on the community board. <laughs> now I'm trying to figure out if I need to get sugar. Would you get sugar? Here? Yes. Do they have it? Well, you know, oh, sugary. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. I would hop in before they close, actually. Um, yeah, because it's almost 7 o'clock and there's closing time. No. Uh, that's what I'm glad to keep open. Have something. Old Park has yeah. things. You can hop in one of their shops. Yep. 
See, she knows everything. We ran into the know-it-all person. I, I probably just need to do what she says. <laughs> Who knows? Bye. 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 Getting the last one of those pumpkin cakes because it's last, and I'm good. At, I like taking the last thing. I'm evil. <laughs> I'm evil. I will take the last one so no one else can have it. <laughs> and it's getting wrapped are you, up. Are you eating it here or you're taking it home? I'm probably going to eat it here. It won't make it far. <laughs> okay. I get a plate and I'm going to eat it and it's going to be in my tummy. Yay! <laughs> here is my cake after eating so much already. Um, it was a pumpkin cake from Faro in Katsu. Or Fato in Katsu. Uh, casa, casa, what? It's in casa. In casa. Um, it was four fifty for a slice, but it's really, it's delicious. It has the subtle sweetness, not the overpowering the sweetness that everybody, that a lot of people put into their carrot cakes with, I, um, with cottage cheese frosting. So, all in all, I just spent like only about seven bucks. Got myself a little salad snack, even though I already ate something before I left the house. And got myself some dessert. And it's really good. I'm happy. I'm still probably going to end up oblivion because I'm stupid. But, you know, well, not because I'm stupid. It's just because I need to go through more of their new menu. Okay, so after eating that delicious pumpkin cake from Fato, Fato in Casa, Oh my gosh, I realized you need milk. It like hits you subtly. It's like, it's still a subtle sweetness, but delicious. But it still has that lingering sugary goodness that says, milk please. Um, oh my gosh, so, so far, Easton Market, completely delicious. Definitely well worth, the cake definitely well worth money. Everything looks like it's well worth it. <laughs> now, How was that pumpkin cake? It was delicious. Delicious pumpkin cake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And now I had to realize I had to go to the restroom. So, actually what's fun is they've redesigned this hallway with the bathroom also. Look at it. It looks like we're in some little place. Oh, even cooler. He added this special thing to the fountain so you could fill up your water bottle. I don't know how I'm going to cover the sensor. Oh, yep. <laughs> and it works. Cool. Nice. Oh, cool, and it has a counter. Help to eliminate waste from the blankety blank disposable <laughs> uh, plastic bottles. That's cool. I hope I didn't accidentally contribute to that number just by putting my hand there. Whoops. Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna vlog in the bathroom, but look at this place. Just for the little market, look at how nice the um, lighting is, the mirrors, the freaking sinks. I'm envious. I want this in my bathroom at home. The nice little tiling job that this done. The floors, uh, they have the mayor's, uh, uh, Mr. Myers clean stuff. What? Wow. Okay. Honestly, I'm, you know, I'm retarded sometimes. I do enjoy a good bathroom. And this one, I say it was fantastic. <laughs> of course, the place is still new. Hopefully it'll last as pretty as it looks now. Oh my gosh, I just realized the mirror frame is wood. I don't know if someone actually put in the effort recently to do that, but that's amazing. Okay, now I actually have to go to the back. So this is my second venture to Oblivion since they have their new menu. I'm trying pulled pork buns. I already ate one. It's delicious. Oh, I have a lot of menu to get through before the end of the month. Who knows? And there's Christmas. It's too late. You've been caught. <laughs> This is funny.